So, through radical hospitality, we offer the invitation and embrace of Christ, that sense of belonging. God shapes our hearts and our minds through passionate worship. We desire to draw closer to God and study in a group and a community. And we can't mature very long until we sense God calling us to make a difference in the lives of others. Well, there comes a time when we realize that all we are and all that we have belongs to God. And then that takes us to extravagance, extravagant generosity. Churches that practice extravagant generosity preach, teach, and practice the tithe. I heard someone on the radio said, we buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't know. <laughs> the church's answer is to put God first and actually talk honestly about the place of money in our faith journey. When we actually tie the changes, the way in which we view the money we earn, and to think about how we earn it, and how we save it, and how we invest it, and how we spend it, and if we do it responsibly, and how we give, and the difference that it makes. The practice of extravagant generosity isn't what isn't about the church's need to receive, but about the Christian's need to give and to prioritize their life. If you've been a United Methodist for 40 or 50 years, and you think all these other things are true and apply to you, that you've experienced the belonging that comes from hospitality, you've attended worship about 10,000 times, you've been formed and grown in a learning, uh, learning and community, and you've known what it is to serve, and all these things are true, then what makes you think that this notion of tithing is something that you've been granted singular exception to, or a complete dispensation for, and that it doesn't apply to you?